The video you are about to watch is provided by Sax Tanks, the crazy aquarium guy. <laughs> Hello fish lovers, welcome to Zach's Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. I've been trying to get that video out for all my material, but my old computer finally broke down. But I managed to save up some money <laughs> to get the new video editing software to my new laptop that I bought a year ago because I was like, my old gaming laptop is 8 years, it's gonna give up sooner than enough. So it's gonna be good. The new one is only one years old and is about the same. Not as Alienware as the first one, but it's a good computer. So it's gonna be three times the speed for me to upload and rendering and editing videos. But I wanted to give you something in between. I can manage, if I can manage. I wanted to show you when I set up the tag with the P puffers that I was supposed to keep pea puffers and the giant rams on the snails. But all that was effed up. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you the tank and explain what was my idea from the beginning and what it's turned out to be and what I think I would wanna do in the future. So let's get into it. So here's the tank guys, basic only fake plants which I hate but I think the wines look pretty good and I bought the most expensive kind of fake plants so they look pretty good for being fake plants and I have 18 of these little guys I think I need to zoom a little bit so you can see them they are so tiny pea puffers never kept them before relieved that I finally have a puffer that don't have to worry about the beaks but the whole setup was to keep the giant ram's horn snails alive and you can, it's a graveyard they all died because I forgot that I kept them in one gallon bucket without oxygen or anything and I thought snails they can manage that but no the water got fouled when I installed the Eheim 4 Professional and everything it took, it took longer and I had such bad luck with the phone it kept cutting the video off so now it's just fake plants with pea puffers. And I also have an air stone in the back, a pre filter sponge, Eheim's own on the intake over there, you see. Because the final thing for this aquarium is gonna be, and it's a light that is very not strong at all, but. I don't need a strong light because then I'm only gonna get the algae because I don't have any live plants. But these guys are amazing. You can't really tell how many they are, but it is 18 in here. I bought 10 at first, but that was like 10. It looks like 5. So I needed 18, so it looks like something in there. But it's also 5 panda corridoras hiding in the dark. Hopefully they will spawn, because I feed so much bloodworms to these guys. And if any of you have more experience with pea puffers than me, I haven't been able to get them to eat anything else but bloodworms. And I hate that, because you know if you've been following my channel that I don't like when I have fish and they only eat one type of food. That can't be good enough in vitamins and stuff. So please give me any tips, if you have any advice, if you kept them and you stumble upon something else that, that they would eat. At least one more thing. Because now, only bloodworms. But I think in the future, since my giant ramsom snails die, and they are super hard to find, especially in Sweden, uh, that's a real bummer, because... I have a fahaka that's growing and there, then we're gonna have that problem in the future again. What is he gonna eat every day if I don't get new giant ram snorts? But that's way in the future because the fahaka is still small. But can you, can you believe when I got the fahaka he was this size? 
and now he's like the stone in the background or even bigger more like this snail and look at these ones and the Fakka was like this so that's pretty cool so I wanted to get a video out and I'm sorry I've been away again but if you read everything on my page what I put out on the community page I explain everything it sounds like excuses but you're gonna just have to trust me or don't I can't do anything else but I had super bad luck with back pains uh, videos uh, broken down editing software broken down the computer broken down my camera broken down and after all that when I didn't get the video out I got comped and invited for a trip to Croatia for free so that's why I've been away and I feel much better because I really needed a vacation because I've been so stressed about money about moving and everything like that so I feel a lot better but you guys deserve to, to have a video so that's why I'm doing this it's gonna be simple it's gonna be short for once but at least you can see the end result of what I did and if you are interested I'm gonna try to retrieve the material on how I put together my Eheim and if I can't do that next time I clean it I show you how I put it together because I don't put it together the way they send it if you do that the filter is mediocre if you do it my way the 4 plus professional 600 is actually a really good filter especially with small fish since they have that really fine intake so the next thing for this tank is moving in four of the LDA-19 plecos and all the endlers and hopefully these plants are enough to keep some endlers alive because I have so many now but I don't know I can't keep them in the tub anyway but I can wait until I move to keep them together so I haven't decided yet because if I put them in now, they're gonna eat live babies and bloodworms and then I can train them on to something else the pea puffers so that's why I haven't put them in right now even though I could because it's a 55 gallon and a really good filter with kilos of ceramic filter media and these little bastards don't they don't foul the water very much <laughs> looks worse I should take the snails out but they also add an extra calcium and I'm gonna melt away so I'm just gonna leave them in and I'm gonna do do the branches because they were arranged much better but they've been pushed forward somehow I don't know why so and we'll see how long I don't have money now but if I had money I would have bought a better lighting and changed out to live plants because I hate plastic plants but for being plastic plants like I said these are pretty coarse and they can hide in it so 18 pea puffers I'm pretty happy with that tank of course the corridors get my new favorite Diana krill pellets and Diana micro tropical pellets as well but I tried all frozen foods they only want bloodworms but that can't be good in the long run so we'll see hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon again guys and hope everybody is fine and nobody has been sick from corona and I really hope that this whole COVID-19 is coming to an end soon for everybody's sake so much love from the crazy aquarium guy Mwah.